I'm Joycelyn Wilson, and I teach science, race, and technology, also known as the education of hip-hop from Cass to Kendrick. And I also teach interactive narrative and experimental digital art. It's a great opportunity that I don't take lightly. I live my work. It is my passion. I think that lyrics and media in general, these types of artifacts, give us access to the stories of the human experience. And those stories can teach us a wide range of things. It can teach us about our environment, uh, the politics that we live in. It can also give us a rubric or framework for designing media that speaks to the human experience, that also edutains. And hip-hop is a great, great corpus and landscape for teaching so many things. It is the great equalizer. That song means a lot to me personally. It's a song by a group out of Atlanta that I grew up with. I grew up with these guys. I've known them since I was in elementary school, the Goody Mob. And the song is called Sesame Street. The verse that I wrote was from CeeLo. And he starts off saying, remember me from way back in the day, live right around the corner from Benjamin Mays. I'm amazed that we made it this far. A whole black family is all that we are. Wishing up on a star for a trace of happiness. My mama doing her best, but she ain't making no progress. Maybe it's a test that we all got to pass. My situation's making me grow too fast. Thirteen and a half years old, standing at the bus stop alone in the cold, on my way to be degraded for a fee to help get my family off the street called Sesame. And then Cujo comes in and says, can you feel what I feel? Can you see what I see when my feet hit the street? That particular verse means a lot to me because it gives us access and and information about a story of a young man growing up in Atlanta. Hip-hop is very much rooted in the womb. We don't talk about it that way, but the history shows us that it was a woman that put out the first rap song and took hip-hop global, uh, Sylvia Robinson. And so to stand on the heels of women like her, to stand on the heels of of great activists and scientists and technologists and and media personalities who are all women. It is a very humbling experience to be here and I want to always represent women in the most possible and best way when I'm here doing my work.